Hey guys, Karan and Ritika back here. So today we are going to introduce a restaurant known as Venus and also the famous banana juice. We had gone to a temple early morning. Then we stopped by to have breakfast. There weren't much people in the restaurant as it was morning. It was just one or two families. Our parents made us take pics with this. Yeah, this was in the restaurant. Yeah. Mostly people drink redwood water here. It has medicinal benefits. It is still in most of their restaurants. Yes. Steamed rice cake and black chickpeas and appam and green peas masala. Also masala dosa and ghee roast. Ghee roast. <laughs> yeah, ghee roast. The ordered classic South Indian breakfast. So this is steamed rice cake. Appam, which, which is, is also South Indian pancake. Yeah, masala dosa, and us. 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 The restaurant had a nice ambience, and it was pretty neat and clean. It was clean. Yeah, it was not that bad. Yeah. I had ordered crispy masala dosa. It was actually crispy, and uh, the masala it was adequate. Yeah, yeah. It is not less nor too much for the dosa. It was delicious. Yeah. And. I uh, no. served it with coconut chutney, tomato chutney, and sambar. Yeah. Yeah. I it also tastes. had that. It was nice. Yeah. Okay. So I ate a ghee roast, which looks like a cone. Yeah. I dipped it into the sambar. The sambar was really good. Yeah, it was really good. You could get the ghee taste, and it was really crispy also. So they served the doshas in. Ah, uh, they served both the masala dosa and ghee roast. Yeah. On leaf. Yeah, on <laughs> leaf. Just a little leaf on the plate. So me and Piri shared the masala dosa. No, the masala. Yeah, after the dosa, we can just say that. We both wanted masala dosa. Yeah. People usually have masala dosa after. Yeah, visiting temple, it's like very common. Yeah. Then I tasted the steamed rice cake and the black chickpeas. The steamed rice cake wasn't really soft. Yeah, need to mix it with a curry. Oh yeah, when we eat it at home, we drink it with hot tea, hot black tea. Yeah, it was really good. The curry had a good taste. Yeah, it had a really, it was really delicious. They had separate masala for both um, green peas and black chickpeas. Yeah. Usually in restaurants, uh, there is just. One masala base for all the curries. Yeah, all the curries. Yeah. For this curry, it was this masala. <laughs> Appam or South Indian pancakes. Um, they are one of my favorite breakfast. This and black chickpeas. So today, here I ordered um appam with green peas masala. Yeah. And it was nice. As I said, uh, the masala it is different for each curry. It's yeah. not similar yeah. like other restaurants. I'm also trying it, you know. Yeah, but you need to share and eat. Yeah, we need to know the taste of all of it. Yeah. The masala. Was After the this, table. we had ordered one coffee. And one tea. Yeah. Tea or coffee, it's usually a must with South Indian breakfast. Mostly tea, but yeah. It you depends. Yeah. Uh, either people have it along with the breakfast or after the breakfast. I have Sometimes after before. It. Oh, I don't have before. This is uh, in Velankalur, Trishur. You should go have a try. Now we are going to have the famous banana juice. 
Yeah, we have been trying to have this for past a year, yeah. but uh, whenever we go, it's usually crowded. Yeah. Fortunately, today was not crowded, so we got a chance to try the banana juice. So I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is served in a paper cup. Um, they add a lot of peanuts, and then they add the juice in which there is banana. Yeah. And the Cardamom and powder and, and vermicelli, and they mix it, um, and it is chilled. Yeah. So it will be good for a hot day. Yeah. Uh, usually during summer times, uh, it's way more crowded. Yeah. Since it's chilled, and uh, as there's a lot of peanuts, a lot of peanuts, um, and vermicelli, it's a bit heavy too. In the evenings, you can see students and uh, people after their work in class coming and having this chill drink. I'm so excited. After one year of waiting, we are finally having it. Let's have it. Let's Didi. see what's the height of Sampa. Yeah. In the beginning, people nearby used to come here. Then it slowly, slowly started to be famous. Yeah, because of the taste. People from far away started coming just to have this. Cheers. So it was really delicious. There was a lot of peanuts, and that I like the peanuts a lot. I like peanuts a lot. I like sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, back to the point. It was really delicious. What was that? Worm cellies. Yeah, that was also there. So it made it extra delicious. Yeah. It was really like chewy also. Actually, yeah, yeah, there was things to buy it. I'm not a huge fan of bananas, so I really don't like it. It tastes really nice. It's very chilled and no, very crunchy. I liked it. I really liked it. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't. I don't like bananas. So this is the shop where you get the famous banana juice. It is located between. Kodunglur and Gurwayur Highway. A place known as Trithalur, opposite a mosque, you'll find this famous banana juice shop. Our dad has tried this way before and even after these many years, it still... He's, he said it, it, it still tastes the same. Yes, exactly the same. So this is a short video of banana juice. We will be back with more restaurants. Bye!